Designing powerful solutions in Smartsheet can be difficult, and we need every tool available at our disposal to build out powerful solutions. One of the most underrated applications of Smartsheet is Data Mesh. It was created at the onset of Smartsheet, yet so many users overlook its capabilities. Today, I want to talk about how Data Mesh works, what Data Mesh is capable of doing for you, and some tricks that can make Data Mesh extremely powerful for your solution. Let's start with how Data Mesh works. To first understand how Data Mesh works, you must understand what is a need it is trying to solve. In Smartsheet, it's so common to have situations where you need to move data from one sheet to another. Perhaps you need to update an, a rate on another sheet. You need to move a set of data from one sheet to the other. And there are techniques like row move or formulas like index match, as we cover in another video. But Data Mesh is able to take that data from one sheet and write it into another. It's also able to sell link from one sheet to another. That's a powerful ability that few users really take advantage of. So I want to start out with going over how does it actually work. In example A, you see I have a sheet A and a sheet B. And what Data Mesh is doing in this case is it's taking information out of sheet A and it's transferring it to sheet B. It's able to do that by finding a unique value inside. So we'll go over this in a second. But the idea is that Data Mesh looks for a specific row and it is able to find that coordinated row on the other side and move information from sheet A to sheet B. And it's able to do that scale in thousands of rows. And one great benefit to that is if you were to try to do that with formulas, you would burden your sheet with it being very heavy and having tons of formulas and operations of every time you open it. But with Data Mesh, you're writing that data in or you're cell linking it. So it's able to be a lot lighter on Smartsheet and allow you to scale data at a much higher rate. Now, example B is extremely fascinating because what it's able to do here is instead of Data Mesh just being hooked up to a sheet, it's actually hooked up to a report. And from that, it's able to take many different sheets. I've had thousands of sheets hooked up to one report, and that one report is read by Data Mesh and ran into a bigger sheet. So you're able to take information from tons of different locations and bring them into one sheet. Now, when you're doing a report like this, it's actually only running once an hour. But if you're doing it from a sheet to another sheet, it's um, considered instant. A lot of times that can actually mean three to five minutes for the data to flow from one to the other. But I've seen that even faster. So let's go over an example of seeing this, how this works for my life. In this case, I'm going to have project name item a, B, C is my column, and these are the values that it's going to coordinate with. I'm going to be taking information from suggested rate column and putting it into the locked in rate. Right here, I have selected my source sheet. So this is Data Mesh, and I click New Config to open up the window I'm seeing right here. By clicking it, I'm able to see a typing in prompt here where I can just enter the um, search information. I got my data mesh example. I'm going to click that and that is going to be my source sheet. I click next and then I want to do the same thing I get. Data mesh example. And there it is. So now I've chosen it as the target sheet as well. So you can see here that I have my source is data mesh example. And here you see how there's a box here. This means that I could actually have multiple sheets it's bringing information to. In this case, I just want one. I'm going to use project name on both sides. So basically, it uses project name to look at the information. And this one, I'm going to take suggested rate and write in whatever comes as suggested rate to the locked in rate. I'm going to click next. Um, I can actually add many, many fields to this, 190 fields. I click next. This is where I can define the specific features of my data mesh. I can choose if I want it to overwrite. In most cases, I do. I can choose um, what to do with duplicates. I can also tell it to just copy the data, or I can say copy and add data. In our case, we're going to have the rows on the same sheet, but this is a powerful use because what you can do is write information from one sheet to another, and then you can also create cell links. If you're creating cell links, the information has to be on the other side as far as you have to be connecting it from one row to another, and the row already has to exist. 
So a technique we do sometimes is that we create two data meshes, one to create the new row, and then the second one comes in with links to link it over. Finally, execution frequency. I could say update immediately because it's a sheet. It's looking from one sheet to another. Um, if it were a report, it would not allow me to do this. I would have to choose minimum one hour. So I have updated immediately. I'm gonna call it just my data mesh example. And I'm gonna go ahead and click next. It's gonna summarize everything and click add. Now, I can simply click on this to run. I click a run. It's gonna tell me what's affected. So say three rows are affected, two rows don't match. I bet those two rows are just cells that I had filled in, but then are empty. So now it's only looking at this third row. So I click submit. Now, I can watch on my screen how here, it'll magically write those in because it took item A's $15 and put $15 there. Now this is a small example, but you can understand that in a solution where you're building out complex workflows and needing to capture information, it can be quite powerful to have data mesh because it will be able to capture what you're wanting to look at and bring it over to another cell and write it in. Once it's written in, and also you can choose for it not to overwrite. So that means that the first time it was captured, it's able to be there forever. And in Sparsheet, it's often hard to do that without doing a row copy. So with Data Mesh, we're able to do that on specific sheets. And it is extremely helpful when you're trying to lock in information in Smartsheet. So this is how you would actually build it up. But what is powerful about Data Mesh is that you can basically fill your own reporting structure. So let's say that you had sales team members all in their own sheets. They're not allowed to see each other's sheets because they have their opportunities. We all know that sales have a hard time looking at each other's stuff because they get competitive. So let's say that you need to isolate all your sales team members in these different sheets, but you want to see it in one place. You also want to do math with that beyond what a report could maybe do. You could have every single one of these sales sheets in the scope of the report. Data Mesh could bring it into one key tracker where you could actually have more information that you're tracking to every specific opportunity. This is extremely powerful because you're still letting people have their own autonomy, their own sheets to manage, yet you're collecting all their information and making sure that you're up to date on it without having to navigate too many. I have built solutions for customers that have over 100 different users using different sheets. It's so powerful that they can have a sheet also that tracks all that in one place. Yet, those users don't get to see each other's sheets. Data Mesh is also able to move information from one sheet to another. If you're thinking, hey, I normally would just do a row copy or row move, a lot of times Data Mesh can take specific columns and write those in only. So a lot of customers ask for moving information without the entire set. So for example, a sheet may have 30 columns worth of data, but maybe they need to track information in another sheet, but they only need 10 columns. If you were to set up a row copy, you're stuck with all 30 columns there because a row copy always brings every column in the source sheet. But Data Mesh allows you to take specific columns. And on top of that, you could have different names conventions. So maybe it's one name in the source sheet and a totally different name in the destination sheet. This is extremely helpful because what you can do is rename things and you don't have to deal with everybody using the exact same name. Hopefully it needs to mean the same thing, but at least you can get away from the politics of everybody having to agree on what the column name is. So these are some examples of how Data Mesh is extremely powerful. I use it in many solutions because it is able to pull reporting information together and is able to move information from one sheet to another. And a lot of times what you'll find is you would maybe use an index mesh, but that could get too heavy on a sheet. When you have thousands of rows looking up thousands of other rows, it gets very burdensome on the sheet. So Data Mesh is able to do that same work without any types of formulas left on your sheet. It's able to just write in information from one sheet to the other. So there's plenty more to dig into on Data Mesh. But for now, I hope that gets you started. I hope you have an idea how you could build out some powerful solutions in Smartsheet. Thank you for your time.